Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Tweak here and today I'm going to show you some of the guns that I run pretty much every day. I keep getting asked every day, what's your build? Can you show us your build? And all that kind of jazz. So I have decided that I'm simply just going to throw it together in a video so that if anybody asks, I can always just shoot them the video and they can have a look at it. Now, what are the guns that I'm going to be talking about today? Well, we have... Of course, the Meta M4. We also have this M4 as well. Uh, and I'll explain why there's two different variants of what looks to be more or less the same M4 there in a minute. We also have the SA58 and we have the HK416 that I like to use as well, which I forgot to grab a scope for. I'm going to throw that on there real quick. I've also got my sniper rifle and my AK74 uh, M build that I like to use as well. So... Let's get into the firing range. I'll give you guys a quick look at these guns. And then after that, I will show you guys the parts that you need to build them. So I'm just going to enter the firing range real quick. Now, so here's the thing with these two guns, right? This is the version with the jailbreak. So it has a shorter barrel. Now, the fact that it has a jailbreak on it means that it's going to have less recoil. So I'm just going to aim downrange there. And I'm just going to hold down left click and I'm not going to do anything else. So, as you guys can see, it has absolutely no recoil at all. If I was to just pull down just a tiny bit like that, just pull down a tiny bit like that, look at the grouping. Like, it, it has very, very, very little recoil. Now, uh, the main issue I have with this variant of this gun is that it has pretty outrageous muzzle flash. Uh, it's not too bad on the longer barreled version of it, uh, but I'll just show you guys again. I'm just going to hold down left click and you guys will see what the recoil is like. But this is the long barreled version. Now, it does have higher recoil. Put a gun on full auto, that might help. So as you can see, it's pretty similar to the first. Uh, and then I'm just going to try and control it a little bit. So the first one is definitely a little bit more of a laser beam, that's for sure. But you don't get as much of the muzzle flash on the uh, longer barrel version of the gun as you do on the shorter barrel version of the gun. The uh, hideout doesn't really seem to do a really good job of uh, showing just how bad the muzzle flash is. Like you can see it there, but I feel like the lighting in here doesn't make it look as bad. So in my opinion, I think for these two guns, you're better off running the longer barrel version, which has 40 uh, and 109 instead of the 3289 version, uh, just because of the muzzle flash. The muzzle flash can make it really hard to see what you're doing. So I'm going to show you guys the preset here real quick. You should be able to see all of the parts. Pretty standard stuff. Um, the main difference between this M4 and the meta M4 of last patch is this pistol grip, the Ergo PSG-1. Uh, actually, you just go to the modding screen instead. And then we use the HK E1 stock now. It's actually the best stock you can use on your M4s and stuff. And then you can put the rear sights and front sights on there for that little bit of extra ergonomics. But this is what you want. The ST6012 uh, has been the brake that I've been using all patch. Really, really good brake. Uh, really, really good. And then for the short one, uh, for those of you that don't really care about the muzzle flash, it's basically a jailbreak setup, exact same as last patch. Same thing again, except I've got a growl ass on this time. Pistol grips are kind of your own preference. Uh, but I have the, the HKE1, the jailbreak with the ST6012 on there. Um, so yeah, if you don't really care, if you don't really care about the, uh, the muzzle flash, you can go for the shorter version. I'd much rather use the longer version and get less muzzle flash. So there's the two builds. If you guys want to screenshot this or whatever, Pause the video there and y'all can do that if you like. Now, moving on to the SA58 and the HK416 that I use. So, the FAL is the gun that I've probably been getting the most questions about. Now, there's not really uh, much to say about the FAL. Um, there is basically one new attachment. Well, technically two new attachments. Oh no, yeah, it's one. Um, which is the... Uh, I can't bring it up here now, but it's called the... Um, the, uh, what's it called? The blast mitigation device. And it's a new, like, muzzle device for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to full auto this thing. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to aim at that target there. And I'm just not going to 
compensate for any of the recoil or anything like that. I'm just going to hold on left back. So as you can see, the grouping is pretty tight for that kind of range, like doing it, you know, full auto on a fan. I'm just going to try and control it a little bit now. So again, honestly, with just like a little like slight pull down, a little bit of like left and right movement, like you can you can pretty easily deal with the uh, the aim on this, uh, the recoil on this. The closer one is so much easier. You just have like a sharp pull down and then a little bit of like left and right compensation on the target. Um, the foul at this distance and at this distance, you're dead. You're so dead. That range, a lot of the shots are on target. You might get kind of unlucky. Anything past that, I would suggest tapping it. I wouldn't like anything further than that third target there. Don't be trying to full auto people because uh, it'll likely just catch you killed. If you just take your time and just, you know, just tap like that, you'll be so much better off. Um, so that is the foul, and then I am going to give you guys a look at my HK. So this is my HK build. Again, nothing really too different. Just the muzzle brake and the, uh, stock. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to throw this on full auto, same as before. Uh, I'm just going to aim at the target there. You guys will see the reticle fly up and down anywhere. Maybe I'll, I'll move to the left side here. Yeah, this will do. All right, just going to hold down left click. So yeah, as far as the HK is concerned, uh, it has a much higher initial kick, I think, than the M4. But if, again, if you just really just pull down on that first initial spray, um, it's pretty damn laser beamy. Yeah. Just a sharp pull down and you can, you can just control the shit out of it. A little bit of, like, left and right compensation for the recoil, but there's not really much you need to do. So I'm going to give you guys a look at the gun real quick. So there is the HK. I'll put these in here for a second. Uh, Joe, I'll show you guys the, uh, I'll show you guys the uh, SA-58 first. So with the SA-58, you have the A3 adapter with the BMD, the Lantac Blast Mitigation Device, and then you have a Lantac Dragon Muzzle Brake on top of it as well. So these are the two new items, the A3 adapter, the BMD, and then the uh, Lantac Dragon on it there as well. So that is what made the foul. Because this foul here is the exact same as it was last patch. Minus the brake. The brake setup is different. Everything else is the exact same. The stock, uh, the RK2, everything else is the very same. The only thing that has changed are these, uh, the muzzle devices. So if you haven't tried it yet, I would suggest giving it a go. It's a pretty good gun. And again, lads, on the HK, it's all the exact same as last patch, except now we're using the HKE1s and we're using the ST6012s. Uh, that's pretty much it. So this is, uh, as far as I know, this is about the lowest recoil you can get a, a, a HK, which is at 41,107. Um, I'm not sure what else you can do to this to lower the recoil. I don't think there is anything you can do. I believe it has the longest barrel. Yeah, it's got a 20 inch barrel. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else you can do to this. So let me give you guys a look at the bills real quick. So here you go again. This is like the inspect bill screen or whatever. So... Again, if you guys want to screenshot this to use in your own time so you don't have to keep referencing referencing the video, go for it. But yeah, that's the lowest recoil file you can get. And that, as far as I know, is the lowest recoil HK416 you can get. The M4, um, I'm pretty sure there's a, like there's one or two other stocks you can use on it if you want. It's kind of up to you. Um, I'm not entirely sure, though, because I haven't really messed with it. But honestly, man, uh, these two M4s especially the short barrel one if you can get over the the muzzle flash like you know who cares <laughs> like it'll be fine um so yeah i'm just going to actually throw a couple of rounds into the sniper because some people have been asking me about this as well i don't even think it looks that cool but i'll show it anyway so i'm just going to show you guys my ak real quick which by the way probably isn't even the lowest recoil ak you can get but i've had people ask me what's your ak build this is the one that i just keep using I just kind of like it. I don't know. It just, it works for me. Uh, so it's at 61 and 172. I think it's pretty fun. Um, you can put a suppressor on it too if you want, but you know, it's an AK. It's an AK. So I shall give you guys a look at the sniper rifle first. So this is my uh, M700 build. I've got a voodoo on there. Zero recoil. Nah, I'm just <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. Um, 
But yeah, no, just some people were asking me and uh, I'll show you guys what parts I used to build this. I, I should honestly have a shift grip on it instead of the CQR. That uh, would make more sense, but... All right, let me give you guys a look at the AK. So this is it. These are the mods that I use on it. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to hold on that target there and just hold on left click. Again, put the gun on full auto might help. So as you can see, not that much initial kick to it. And then I'm just going to compensate a little bit. And pretty much all those shots are on target from this range. Uh, a couple of them, you know, flew off and went around or whatever. Um, but yeah, this AK, super easy to control. Um, like this range, there's almost no need to compensate. This range, it's a laser beam. Um, you guys know yourselves. It's just an AK-74M. I don't really run these very often because I find the ammo to be kind of inconsistent for me at least. Um, but you know, running AKs from time to time can be pretty fun. Um, so let me show you guys exactly how I build these. So I'm going to put the AK there. So there is the AK build and there is the M700 build. So I like this M700. I've been having fun sniping with this thing. Um, is it the best looking M700 you can make? Probably not. I actually slapped this together like day two or three of the wipe and haven't really messed around with them much since because I just thought this looked kind of cool. So that's my M700 build if you guys want it. Again, you know, screenshot this for your own reference points. And then this is my 74M Nothing super complicated. It's not even that expensive to build. One of the most expensive attachments on this gun is the RK2. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the, like the Valde and the Troy. Um, everything else is pretty bog standard stuff. There's nothing really super new about AK builds this patch. There are a couple of different rails you can use. I do like the... Um... Let me see if I can show you guys in my presets real quick. So what AK is this? This is 61 and 172. Uh, I think it's AK Juice. No, it's not AK Juice. Which AK is it? I have one of them here with the, uh... No. I can't remember the name of the, uh... Oh, AK Meta. Oh, yeah. So this one's at 58 and 164. So it's a little bit better. I think it's made better because of the, uh, aggressor on it here. The aggressor is pretty cool. Oh, wait, I've got a CTR stock on this. When did I even build this? With an RPK uh, buffer tube with the CTR stock. I think CTR stocks are quite rare, though. I don't think you can even buy them from traders. That's 55, 155 there. So, yeah, there's a little bit of room for improvement. So, you guys can copy this build, too. It has a little bit less recoil than the other one. But I don't think it's really that necessary for, uh, for AKs, to be honest. Because honestly, once you put an RK2 and this compensator on it, it, it starts becoming kind of irrelevant. You're just kind of wasting money on it then at that point, I feel like. But yeah, that's another build you guys can mess around with if you, if you please. So those are some of the guns that I run pretty much every day. I'm at the point in the wipe now where I'm running HKs and M4s all the time. It's just kind of how it is. Um, I run this SA58 pretty often too, and I run this AK every now and again too, but like... If I go into my cases here, I've just got a Val. Um, and then it's just a bunch of these uh, different M4s and HKs just rolling around. I actually need to refill some of my guns and uh, some of my gear. I'm running dry. It was a rough day at the office today. But lads, thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you guys have any other suggestions as my camera goes out of focus. If you guys have any other suggestions and any other videos you would like to see or other guns you would like to see me build. Um... Besides these that I've shown you here, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. But lads, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it informative. I'm always live over on Twitch. Go follow me. Live every day, pretty much. Lads, cheers for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. Give me a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my dudes.